The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, Billy Ray Valentine is going to offer a new service here at TFNN. It's going to be a Twitter service. As you can see here, the DAX chart, where we were, uh, it's about uh, 30 minutes ago. They, they tweeted out that there was going to be some problems with China. Now, if you would like to be involved with these Twitters, about five minutes before they come out, I'm going to be able to offer it for you. All you have to do is go to www fatchance.com and someone will get in touch with you very shortly. Boys and girls, I want to tell you something that happened over the weekend that was uh, really, <laughs> it was a real eye-opener for me. There's a new book come out called The Man Who Solved the Market. It's a story about Jim Simmons and it was written by uh, Gregory Zuckerman. Uh, it's, a, it's a really phenomenal book. The people that have endorsed it is Ed Thorpe, you know, from Beat the Dealer. He's a hedge fund manager. Mohammed El Arian, you know, the guy that was at um, PIMCO. Jim Grant, the Grant Interest Rate Letter. Oh, my gosh. Uh, just Michael Lewis, the guy that wrote the, the about the big short. It's just terrific. But, folks, the most interesting part for me, there's several parts, of course, but I, there's a couple of things that are really funny. Uh, Jim Simmons has a competitor in this business. Is David Shaw. They both do pretty much the same thing. They started in the 1980s when they both started. But in 1985, David Shaw had a young uh, programmer from Harvard and his wife working for them. But they decided they didn't like it too much here in New York, and so they decided to move west. It was Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos. Can you believe that? Shut the front door and raise the rent. But listen to this, folks. The source of Mr. Simmons' investing style reached as far back as Babylonian times when early traders recorded the prices of barley, dates, and other crop, crops <laughs> on clay tablets, hoping to forecast future moves. In the middle of the 16th century, a trader from Nuremberg, Germany, named Christopher Kuhs, won a claim for his supposedly ability to forecast 20-day prices of cinnamon, pepper, and other spices. Like much of society at the time, Curse relied on an astrological sign, but was tied to back-testing signals, deducing certain credible principles along the way. He goes through, he talks about W.D. Gann, how it affected him. He also talks about uh, some of the other great traders along the way. The book is filled with nothing other than names like, um, <laughs> well, uh, first of all, Bruce Kovner, um, Paul Tudor Jones, just, I mean, they're just one after another, folks. It's its really, truly amazing. But frankly, I would not trade places with this fellow no matter what. The first 10 years, he really had a rough time. Uh, he's 81 years old. He's lost several members of his family's children, a lot of friends with cancer. And believe me, these fellows were very, very brilliant guys that were doing this. Incredible IQs from MIT, Harvard, and uh, Berkeley, and places like that. Just really super quants is what they were. They all made a lot of money, but very few of them were very, very happy. And that was really uh, the, one of the main things that came across in the book. He really believed in geometry. And of course, as you know, he named his 220-foot yacht Archimedes. And, of course, those that know me, that my yacht is named Invisible because no one's ever seen it. And um, it's just really amazing to see some of the stuff that he's done. Just to give you an idea, his average holding time, folks, is two and a half days. He trades everything, commodities, stocks, Forex, ETFs. Anything that's high volume, he's in there in there trading it on a short-term basis. He has 300 employees, 300 of them which are quants that have to sign incredible risk uh, or uh, non-disclosure agreements. Uh, it, it's it's really uh, very very amazing some of the things that uh, that came out in the book. It was it's just really uh, really really uh, interesting book for me. But. 
the most interesting part of the book was when he mentioned that everything changed for him in 1989 when he bought his MIPS computer, M-I-P-S, which means million integers per second. I bought mine in 1992. That computer sat there in Pismo Beach and did nothing but run for three years. And all it was doing was crunching data, crunching data, and crunching data, and crunching data, and crunching data. And from that, that's how we came up with some of these forecasts that we came up with. So I knew I was on the right track, but he has 300 employees. It's just me and John and Alan, and we are trying to do the best we can, but we're getting close. Maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't, but you know, sometimes you see glimpses of light in the old background, and I wanna show you a glimpse of light this morning that we had going on. You'll see here, uh, one of the things, of course, I sent out to the folks last night was to please, please, please be aware of the number of 1458 in the S in the um, in the gold because that was the 61% retracement of the move. We hit it. We've rallied over $10 from that point. Now you notice the forecast is up for the rest of the day. Remember these spots that you're seeing, those things, they have nothing to do with price, folks. They have to do with time. It's a time vibration. Yeah, Mr. Bill, the chance of me getting a yacht, if I get it, I'll take it down there to Jupiter, Florida, and let you hold it for me, okay? <laughs> Not a chance. Folks, you know, one of the reasons why I, I don't like boats is based on some of this stuff that's happened with, with the, I'm going to tell you the story because you always rag on me about it. We had bought this MIPS computer, and Dennis had passed away, only a chance to work with the guy for 16 months. So I get, didn't get, and when he died, he left nothing. We had no idea how this stuff worked, so we had to start from scratch. And we were scratching away when Dr. Jimmy Elder from Birmingham was helping us, and we had a computer programmer from San Luis Obispo. We were making some progress, and I had a chance to take a my first cruise of my lifetime down to Mexico, and so I decided to go down there, and I got caught in a typhoon, and that was it. That was the end of my my boating career. I won't even. I don't even like to watch boats. So uh, that was it. That was four days of a total, uh, total heck. But that's how I got. That's how I got involved with the boats and stuff. The only, the last boat ride I took was about ten years ago down in uh, Florida with uh, Tom on one of his yachts, and we took the yacht from his house over to the restaurant. And believe me, folks, it was a full moon. And oh my gosh, the waves were jumping all over. The boat. I mean, they were. I think they were waves were 10 to 15 high, uh, just going to the restaurant. Everybody tried to tell me that the, the the water was very calm and clear, and you could see the glistening of the full moon on it. But all I could see were these 10 foot waves consuming the boat. So that's why I don't like boats. I don't like I don't like planes much either. But uh, you have to ride in them occasionally. So that's pretty it. If you're really interested in the the life of Jim Simmons, um, you might want to get that book. It's the man who solved the market. It's 20 bucks. It's worth to me. It was worth every penny because it was like walking down memory lane with some of the stuff that uh, I would have liked to have met some of these super quants. But you know they're really difficult folks. For they, they they live in a different uh, they live in a different time zone than we do. Uh, and believe me, Dennis Reagan was was definitely one of those guys that uh, was was in a different time zone. So yeah, Tom's the greatest guy in the world. We are, we are, we should have a, a, a salutation starting the show every day here to thanking Tom for bringing us together here at TFN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to um, mention a couple things uh, about this book by Greg Zimmerman, The Man Who Solved the Market. If the back part of the book, it shows uh, Jim Simmons' uh, track record from 1989 up until today. That's 30 years, folks. He averaged 39% uh, a year for uh, 30 years. Folks, he got a 5% management fee up front, the standard is 2, and he also char charged 44% of the profits. Uh, that's a lot of money, folks. Most people, usually it's two, 220 or 210 is what they charge normally, but that's it. Of course, Steve Cohen can get, uh, you know, he gets 5% and 50%. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones used to get 5% um, uh, and 40%, but he's cut those way back quite a bit. Anyway, I posted a chart here from um, Savacchio Group, which is basically showing the uh, uh, Tom DeMarc, uh, 13 count uh, TD, and uh, it was interesting to, to bring this up because someone asked me to talk about it today, and I would like to bring this uh, chart up here showing you the next one is really the performance after these signals occur uh, and what happens, you know, to stock prices after this signal occur. Now, it hasn't happened yet, but you'll notice here that uh, after between one month, six months, even out five years, this, these patterns last a very, very long time. So if the market continues to go higher from here, it could be related to that signal that we're looking at here that Tom DeMarc is looking. I'm sure we'll see more about it on the Internet as we as we look more and more about it. But there's another really interesting. Oh, by the way, someone asked me to bring the uh, chart up on the uh, the gold because we sent this out uh, early this morning uh, to our folks once we got close to that uh, Oh, shut the front door. There we go. Then we, once we got close to that 1458 uh, level, uh, we got down to uh, 145650. We rallied about 11 bucks from that level. But uh, if you did buy it there, make sure you, uh, you know, protect yourself. Use a trailing stop, common sense, whatever works for you. But uh, try to keep an eye on that if you can, because if it gets unchanged on the day and it's not too far away from that, it's got a chance for a key reversal today. Because remember that long term 
picture on the gold was uh, could could be incredibly bullish, folks. We'll bring it to you one more time, just so you uh, say that you heard it here. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but uh, you'll notice here that uh, that. 382 level came in at 1448 five days ago. So far today, we've had the 61% retracement and a nice little rally, but whether it's going to continue or not, nobody knows, but that's neither here nor there. I, you know, if you want to, the most amazing thing uh, about the uh, the fact of reading the book, uh, my good friend Tom Hugard, who some of you folks have got his book, uh, Tom's a big fan of Jim Simmons, and uh, he was not surprised about the holding period of two to three days. But the thing that was really interesting is he's only right 50.75% of the time. That's what it's been year after year. He's only he's just a tad above 50% right. And his comment is, yes, I'm only right 50.75% of the time. But on that 50.75% of the time, I'm 100% right for a long time, and that's usually two to three days. So he rides his winners, cuts his losses short, and that's pretty much what he's doing. So protect your losses, folks. It's all about defense, just like natural gas. My thoughts on natural gas, we're going to bring him up here in just a second here, having a pretty good sell-off today that gapped down again. I don't know what the news was, but uh, just give me a second here, Mikey, and we'll get this, or we'll get this up here. Uh, and just, uh oh, yeah, here we go. We'll get it up here in just a second here. There we go. Get it up here. We're, we backed on, we're back down to that 60 level, but oh, we're below that 60. We're getting close. Uh, we're getting close now to the 249 level. I don't see any. Hold on just a second here. You remember here, once you, you remember what we talked about here is after we left that island reversal gap up there, you can see that very, very clearly. That was an exact A, B, C, D pattern, folks. Here again, there's the A, B, C, D pattern. Oh, one other part of the book that I think you're really going to like on the very, at the very uh, ac ac acknowledgments, he says right here, if it hadn't have been for one technician that I learned most of this stuff from in 1989, Mr. Larry Pesavento of Pismo Beach, California. Hmm, very strange. And if you believe that, folks, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Anyway, look at that island reversal that you have up here. That was a key that something was wrong. Notice how the market came back and rallied up to a 382 retracement on Friday at 272. And now we gap down. And now we're below the lows at 258. That means an A, B, C, D structure is forming, and that doesn't come in to 243. Now, what is 243? Look very closely, because if you look at the low of October the 8th or the 14th, and draw a 61% retracement of the move from October the 13th all the way up to the high that we made on November the 5th, that comes in at 243. That's an A, B, C, D coming in at a you know really nice 61% retracement and will also make it a one three five pattern so that's something that we ought to uh, at least pay relatively good attention to okay mr z is asking a question he says um uh, recycle data too fast. I was kindly asked to repeat the data. Larry, you went through the S&P performance. Oh, 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 oh. You know, Mr. C, I'll just send it to you after the uh, after the show, okay? I will I will send both of them to you because I, I was just forwarding them on from one of our listeners here at TFNN from Europe asked me to go over the thing with Tom DeMarc. Uh, Tom lives up in Scottsdale where I'll be later on today and uh, have to meet some friends, but um, we will... Um, uh, Tom is really, really he's very, very successful. He's got that big thing on, on Bloomberg and stuff. So uh, I, I say again, Mr. Z, uh, type in, hey, hey, John, call in. You know, you're, you're family, Bubba. You know, don't, don't be afraid to ask some questions. There's a lot of things I don't understand. And maybe I didn't explain it very well. Basically, it was a chart talking about the TD system for Tom DeMarc. And uh, it was showing the results of that TD system from anywhere from one month to five years out into the future. Now, that's a pretty big prediction, and it only happens, what, what had happened there, seven times in, what, 30, uh, 50 years? So I don't know. If you have any questions about it, buddy, call in because I'm just forwarding the information. That's all I'm trying to do is do no fake news here, folks. Honest reporting. Nothing but uh, 
nothing but honest reporting. We just had a very dear friend come back from two weeks in Paris, and they had all of those problems with the uh, yellow vest people uh, pro uh, protesting and stuff, and she told us that she didn't see anything like that that's isolated to a very small few block section of Paris. But the way the post, the way the uh, people, you know, bring it out in the news, it looks like the whole of Paris is burning down, and it's just a very, very small section of just a few blocks from what she could understand. But I, you know, I'm just giving you again, I'm just reporting secondhand information, but not fake news, as near as I can tell. All right, let's move on to another. Oh, we got another break coming up. Boy, time's moving fast. By the way, we have Stan Harley is going to be our guest tomorrow, and on Thursday, I believe, we're going to have Tim Bost, and on Friday. Friday, we're going to have Dr. David Paul in the morning, and then right after that morning break at the half hour, we're going to have Tom Hugard is going to be going on. Ah, someone's talked about my old buddy Joe DiNapoli, showed him Fibonacci 1973 back at the old Conti Commodity Office building in Westwood, California, right above Westwood Boulevard, right above UCLA. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he's watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charted software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We're back, folks, and we have a caller from the Valley of the Wind, Las Vegas, Nevada. Paul, are you there? 
Yes, sir. Good morning, Larry. How you doing? I'm very good, my friend. What can I do for you? Larry, I want to take a look at Disney because I listen to the show often, and I know you talk about the power of that 382 retracement uh, once we have a pretty big move. Um, <laughs> I'm curious how you would measure this retracement because Disney, the breakout, the way I look at it, really started um, – <laughs> Hold on one second. A little bit lower than just the other day. Mm -hmm. Around $130, we had the gap up and mm -hmm. a nice little flag pattern for a couple of days. And then we gap, and then we went all the way up to that uh, 150 level. Mm -hmm. Yep. I did posted it in the, I, I, we, I just you, posted it into the Tiger Den. A high was 150 and a half, and the 382 retracement comes in at uh, 142 even. So we're $2 and a half away from that level. So um, that uh, we had a beautiful butterfly, a beautiful ABCD pattern down there in October. I hope you were looking at that 127 because that was a no brainer. But the 382 of that move comes in at 142. Also, uh, Paul, it's very important that one because that will also be a 61% retracement from the gap low that we had on November the 11th, you know, pre report. That was two days before the report. So that, that really strong support should be at 142. Below 142. 42, I wouldn't touch that stock because it's going to go down and fill the gap at 133. But uh, it should have a great deal of support at 142 is the way that it looks like uh, just by watching the charts. Now, remember, there's no fundamentals involved here. So uh, keep that with a grain of salt, too, my friend. Yeah, no, definitely. I was just curious on how you uh, measure these moves because there is a big bar that started, you know, at um, 137 about. Um, yes. So I was just curious if, the re if you would measure the retracement from that bar or from the entire move that started about 130 bucks. When, when you measure the 382 of the whole thing, you got to take the you got to take the low that you made way back in October. You can't take the low where the gap is because gaps ref, ref, reference unknown things, so you don't really know what's happened there. You know what happened on October 31st because that was a major bottom. So you go from the major bottom to the major top. Okay, you're talking about. Uh, 23 points and the 382 on 23 points is going to take you right to 142. 142 will also be the exact 61% retracement of the low that we made right before the report that was down there at uh, 136. So that's why that 142 is so very, very important. It's uh, you could just circle your pencil about that because if it uh, if it doesn't if it gets below 141, it's going to go down to 133 and fill that gap. So uh, just be careful. We got some gaps in there, which are you know unknown things, but that's mainly related to news items and you know stuff that uh, that happens. So can't do anything about it. Okay. Well, perfect. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate your time. I love. Hey, the show. I listen all the time. I just I can't call in very much because uh, I'm ready for the open at 6:30. But um, yeah, a lot of great information, a lot of great books, and uh, keep doing what you're doing. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much, and your $20 check will be in the mail, Paul. <laughs> hey, thank, thanks a lot, buddy. Really appreciate it. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Okay, you bet. Okay, here we go. Here we'll see what's going on. we got the stocks are basically unchanged, doing very little. Gold is back to up on the day, which is uh, pretty good. We've had a pretty nice move. We rallied uh, from 58 all the way up to uh, uh, 1471. We rallied $18 today. That's not so bad. All right, 46 and 70, $16. That's not so bad. The, remember, the, the half of the harmonic number now is $17 in gold. So at 14, at 1471, $14.72, we should run into a tiny, tiny, and I'm talking tiny bit of resistance because if this gold gets much above 1475, folks, we could be looking at an outside day up breakout type thing. And uh, remember, <laughs> that's a very, very bullish long-term chart on gold if that 1458 holds. So I would give it the benefit of the doubt. That's what I would be looking at as we look down these charts as as, as we're seeing here. So let's move on to another one that someone's asked about, uh, and that is the uh, this thing about the gold because it's related to, uh, this is one of these uh, uh, 
conspiracy, not conspiracies, but uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I guess it's conspiracy, but, you know, about whether who owns the gold and stuff like that. This is a chart uh, forwarded to me by someone here, a uh, listener at TFNN, showing the global, global, global reserves. And you notice here the U.S. Treasury gold reserves uh, has been dropping and global reserves have been going higher. Now, the, the headline on this was that Putin is buying the gold. Now, boys and girls, let, let me explain something in really simple terms. People that move money around like that, they don't want you to know what they're doing until they want you to know what they're doing. We've seen this with George Soros. We've seen this with Warren Buffett. I'm sure everybody does it. They don't tell you what their positions are until they want to get out. So <laughs> don't be naive, please. That's not, uh, it's not in your best interest if you do that. So pay attention. There's another chart that is very interesting, and that is this one that we have going on here. This is the emerging markets chart. Uh, this is a weekly chart, and as you can see here, we have just completed a 382 retracement with an ABCD pattern. We had the gap down. We left that little island reversal. But frankly, folks, if you look at Hong Kong today, I mean, they were really bombing away in the old Hong Kong University uh, area quite a bit, and people were out on the streets uh, walking and complaining, whatever they were doing. But uh, the stock market for the Hang Seng was actually up a couple hundred points, so it held you know, really well. So that, that's actually a good sign. So people are not really scared. Hey, we got a caller from uh, New Jersey. Victor, are you there? I'm here. Yeah, I'm just looking at SQ and Tilray, T-L-R-Y. And personally, I think the markets are totally rigged right now because they never go down. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you can't well, trade with any. Yeah. Uh, well, you can't trade with every you. morning, even today. Well, that's probably I think that's some probably China news it. came out today that they're not doing something, and the market's still out. This is like a 2000 the dot com bubble. Yeah. Okay. Let probably me see. In March. I don't have SQ. Can you tell me what that is? I I have a new data service SQ and I do not. Square SQ. SQ. That one Square. I don't have, but it's I like might a... have. I might have Tilray. So if you'll bear with me here, just one second, I'll see if I can get Tilray up. The problem is I've, I'm switching. Uh, what do we call uh, oh, data yeah, services Nike now. if he can, Nike, NKE, because if and, the Dow keeps on going up, Nike hasn't and, done much, so maybe it'll go and, up. Okay, I could do Nike for you, not a problem. But that is, uh, that's really doing very little. In fact, it's setting, uh, it just made a 61% uh, retracement, I believe. Let's just get this up here. I think it did just get it. Yeah, I think it just made it. Uh, so that means it's going to go up. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah it made it, it, it made, well, it, 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 it actually was up today, isn't it up today? I didn't check I, yet. Yeah, yeah it's a, it just hit a six. So, let's just take. I'll just show the folks here. We just hit a uh, sixty-one percent retracement here uh, in Nike and, and, and Tilray. Is that one of those cannabis stocks? Yeah, yeah, that's what. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking. Uh, I was going to buy that for spec. Watch it for speculation. Uh, you know what I would do? I would put the watch back in your watch pocket and wait. That doesn't look like a buy to me at all, my friend. I would wait on that one. No. Not Nike good. could go then, because if, if we're going to Dow 30,000 because we got Trump as our man, we're going higher, so buy Nike then, right? All right, listen, thanks for calling, Victor. We really appreciate you calling in, buddy. Uh, ha right, happy, ho right. happy holidays to you. If you're in a CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, next we're going to switch gears here and we're going to go over to Forex land and talk a little bit about the old euro because, uh, as you know, uh, last uh, Thursday, as you can see here, we went right down to the exact 61% retracement at 109.95. That was also a 78% retracement of the small low that we had back on October 7th. And it was also, if you did the expanded move between the 28th and November 4th, that 1.618 expansion came in at the same time. And so you had three major ratios coming together uh, at the same time, which is uh, pretty good in my book. You can't get everything working in your favor. Favorite, but that is about as best as you can do. So let's uh, move on to the next question someone had, and that was about the Treasury bonds, and we want to get the Treasury bonds up here on the longer-term basis. We've been in a pretty much of a bear market here since August, uh, which where we had the dropping open interest. We were completing the ABCD pattern there at 165. We got as high as uh, 166 and change, and we got all the way down to 156. So we dropped 10 handles. You can see very clearly just by looking at this weekly bond chart that we just completed an ABCD pattern, folks, very clear. And the 78% level was right off of the C point at 156. We brought this to your attention probably several times here the last few days. Hope we were able to take some advantage of it, but uh, it started to uh, move higher a little bit. Now, we shouldn't get any higher than about 161 uh, at the very most. If it's really bearish, we're not going to get any higher than 160. But uh, 162 would probably be the extent of that rally because uh, this uh, scam thing they've been trying to feed us that tastes like to tapioca, this negative interest rate isn't going to fly too much. This is uh, that's not that's not a valid thing, I don't believe. So we'll see if uh, what's going on. All right, let's move on to the next question someone asked, and that was about the old Canadian dollar, the loony. Let's get this up here and take a look at it. You'll get this up here, and you'll be able to see here that we are uh, just completed a double test of the 61% uh, uh, level at 131, we rallied up for uh, three weeks. We stopped right where we should have, right about 132 and a half. So we're probably going to be in a tight trade trading range on the Canadian dollar here for the next few days, uh, next few weeks, I would think, with slight bias to a pullback because we were up strongly for three weeks, and then we'll see if uh, if that's going to uh, if that's going to mean anything. We'll have to wait and see. We've now rallied, folks, $17 off the bottom in the. Uh, 
in the gold market. Had a low of 56, high of 73, that's 17 bucks. Isn't it? Yep, I hope it is. See, three, and so yeah, $17. And so that's one half of the harmonic number. So if you're bullish gold, uh, you don't want it to give much of that back. You'd like to see a 382 three, retracement of the uh, $17. And if you did your math, you'd see that that would be $6. So you subtract 70, uh, 11, let's see, 1473 from six. That would take you down to about 1465 is what you'd be looking at for a potential really low risk buying opportunity to 382 in the gold. If we get below 1460, that's not going to be good. So you want to see it uh, stay above 1465 in the gold. I hope that helps. You know, when I give you these numbers, folks, I know most of the time it's going to go over your head. But, you know, I got to got to fill the air airline airwaves with things that I understand. I don't understand the fundamentals. I don't understand stocks. That's that's the name of that game. But I do want to share with you. I've been waiting for this because I think this is one of the better charts I saw all weekend long. It comes from Las Vegas, where we just spoke to uh, Paul. This is one of your old trading buddies. I don't think you know him, but he's a really smart fellow over there living in one of those high-rise places. And we're going to bring this up here and show you this chart here of the uh, Bloomberg, not Bloomberg, it's a Bloomberg chart coming out of the uh, Goldman Sachs. And if you notice here, when you do these Bollinger Bands, uh, you see how it hits these Bollinger Bands? It's usually near a market top, so uh, be careful. Now, if you notice the right side of that, uh, we just had a three-day rally uh, in Goldman Sachs that really didn't go very much considering the rest of the market was screaming. So that was sign of a weaker-than-market stock. And, uh, you know, if you look at the chart really closely, you can see the beautiful ABCD pattern uh, that ends right up there at that high at uh, 224. So this is a really strong indicator. Uh, if these technical things keep going like they are, then we should have a pretty good correction at least down to, it looks like, that 210 level. Level, uh, in the uh, in the Goldman Sachs. So we'll see whether uh, that's going to be the case or not. We'll have to do that uh, one one day at a time. But that's what it looks like with Goldman Sachs. I imagine the one for the banking index looks uh, pretty much the same because it's been lagging the market uh, also. Well, in fact, it is. You'll be able to see it here. This is the weekly chart of the banking index. And as you can see here, we completed the ABCD pattern here last week, uh, right at the 78% level of the high that we made back in 2018. So the real key here, folks, is that low there at 2000, uh, that 382 low at 80. If we ever go below that, uh, there's problems. There's, there's one big bank in the world that's having major problems, folks. Uh, there's rumor that it's Deutsche Bank because they're having to, they're having to come to the Fed windows uh, to get money all the time. So there's something going on with a big bank. They're not able to borrow from other banks because the other banks know that they're no good and so they have to go to the Fed and pay the pauper but uh, that's the only choice that they have so we'll see it that is a Gartley in the banking index uh, Marshall it's spot on that's a weekly chart and I'll put it up here well you can see it folks it's quite easy to see that that little gray uh, those little triangles measure right up to the 78 ABCD pattern and if it gets strong today then you know this pattern would be a failure but that's neither here nor there that's what we're watching as we as we look at uh, some of these things unfold here uh, this morning so I don't know if that's going to be uh, we got to do a couple more minutes here if you have any questions folks it's 877-927-6648 I'll be happy to uh, answer the question for you and if I don't know the answer I will certainly make something up all right we had one other question and that is about the soybeans because we have a very interesting pattern and right in the time when we're supposed to be not having any uh, what do we call these things uh, trade tariffs or whatever this I don't believe any of that trade stuff I, I frankly I, well, I don't believe any from Washington anymore or any other government if you want to know the truth you'll notice here that we have a beautiful ABCD pattern down here about another 15 cents lower in the beans so if beans get down today due to some technical glitch with these China things or not you know they might be a very low risk uh, 
buying opportunity. You can become a farmer there for very little as opposed to, uh, you know, owning a farm and leasing it out and buying tractors and hiring people. You can do it by buying a contract at the Chicago uh, Board of Trade or Chicago Mercantile Exchange and, uh, you know, playing it that way. So that's another one. Here is another indicator that someone sent us. Uh, this is about, and I don't understand these things, folks. I know they're related to the uh, moving average things. These are the things called the Hindenburg and the the, uh, what is it, Hindenburg and the uh, Hindenburg Omen and the Titanic Syndrome. Wow, two things I love to do, fly in a balloon and be on a big ship. Anyway, the, the, I don't know what this means. It just shows you, someone asked me to post it, so I did. It shows the NASDAQ up there. Those little red dots is where those Hindenburg signals happen. They didn't last for very long, but, but one day they will. And that means someone will be able to say, aha, I was right, just like me. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back and we're talking with one of our favorite people. We're not talking to him, but we're going to be 
answering his question, and that is Marshall from up there on the Oregon River on the Washington-Oregon border has asked us about soybean oil. I posted the Christmas oil. Uh, Marshall, what I would do is I would wait a day or two uh, to see if another pattern emerges here because all we've got is a straight down move here. And so I would be a little reluctant because it's a totally different pattern than we see in the soybeans. If the soybeans make their pattern down 15 cents, then I would relook at that soybean oil. And the reason why, it's much stronger than the meal. So that's the one you would be buying. So I would wait until that pattern hits in the March soybeans down 15 cents. If that hits, then I would look at the soybean oil. Because you notice the multiple ABCD patterns that we made up here. Oh my gosh, you had one, two, three, four of them up there at that 31 and change level. And now we're trading at 3043. So the support would come in right around uh, 20, uh, right around between 30. Uh, 30 even and 2960 is near just looking at the charts this morning. So uh, that would be equivalent to about a 15 cent drop in beans. And of course, you don't have to risk very much. This is one of the lower margin things that you can trade at the board of trade. I think the margin is only like $800. So it's really, really cheap. And you know, you got something that's worth 18,000. So you can become a bean oil trader without very much capital. So that's what I would be looking at here. But we do have an oversold market. We're down 10 days. But but frankly, I just don't see any really super support. Um, well, there's a little support right where it is right now, but because the beans, it's very oversold. It could rally at any time, but I don't see any intermediate pattern here. All I have is retracement number. And as you know, Marshall, we like to have at least two or three numbers on our side, much like we had in gold this morning. You know, that gave us a bigger, bigger edge because you had several numbers coming there telling you that it was very, very important. Here at oil, you do not have that. So that's what we're watching. I hope that helps. I, I think it will, but who knows? I know it does because you follow what you're supposed to be doing and you take responsibility for your own trades. Give your lovely bride a big hug and a kiss and may God bless and we'll see you all guys tomorrow.